This video is for students, students who are taking courses in economics. And this video is about supply and demand, but not just any supply and demand, it's better. It's about how to solve problems, how to do exercises on supply and demand. And if you know how to solve problems on supply and demand, you will be able to solve many other problems. You will be able to solve dozens, hundreds, millions of other problems in economics because economics is about supply and demand. So if you understand this part, you will understand everything. In this video, you can learn about supply and demand. But if you don't want to watch it, here is supply and demand in two minutes. Supply and demand is a graph. When the vertical axis represents the price, and the horizontal axis represents the quantity. Supply goes up and demand goes down. And supply is the relationship between prices and quantities that sellers want to sell. And demand is the relationship between prices and quantities that buyers want to buy. Supply goes up, demand goes down, they have to intersect. And the point of the intersection is called the market equilibrium. And the market equilibrium has the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. You may not believe it, but economics is not about graphs. Economics is about people. So what kind of people are in the supply and demand graph? Supply is about managers, supervisors, corporate executives. Supply is about sellers. And demand is about people like you and me, shoppers, consumers. Demand is about buyers. That was supply and demand, and now let's do exercises. Every time you do an exercise, every time you solve a problem in a test, you will have a story. A story about supply or demand. A story about sellers or buyers. And every time you solve a problem, you solve it, by answering these three questions. First question, is it a story about supply or demand? Is the story about sellers or buyers? Second question, does it go up or go down? Does supply or demand go up or go down? At this point, you take the supply curve or a demand curve and you shift it. You shift it to the left or to the right. And finally, you answer what happens to prices and quantities. Let's now solve exercises. And as an example of supply and demand, I am going to use my beautiful cucumbers. Look at this problem. Wages of workers, workers on cucumber farms increased. What will happen to prices and quantities on this market? You solve this problem by answering the three questions. First of all, is it about supply or demand? Is it about sellers or buyers? This question is about wages, and wages are labor costs. They are costs of production. Wages affect supply. That's why every time you see a question about wages, you shift the supply curve. Second question is how will supply change, and how should we shift the supply curve? If wages go up, companies pay more to the workers. If companies pay more to the workers, companies earn less. Higher wages mean smaller profits. And if companies pay higher wages and earn smaller profits, they will be less willing to produce the goods and services. And then on a supply and demand graph, supply will shift to the left. And if the supply falls, the supply curve shifts to the left. And the market moves from point A to point B. 
and as it moves from A to B, the price rises and the quantity falls. Now consider this problem. If more people come to this town and those people are cucumber eaters, what will happen to prices and quantities of cucumbers? First, supply or demand? Demand. Because the story is about buyers, consumers, cucumber eaters. Second, will demand go up or go down? Obviously, the demand will go up because more people, more buyers mean higher demand. And on a supply and demand graph, the demand will shift to the right. If the demand increases, the demand curve shifts to the right. And as the market moves from point A to point B, the price increases and the quantity increases. Let's put these two questions together. What will happen if wages increased and more people came to town? This question has not one, but two events happening at the same time. In that case, you will have not one, but two shifts. Supply will shift and demand will shift. Higher wages mean that the supply will fall and the supply curve will shift to the left. More consumers mean that the demand will increase and the demand curve will shift to the right. The market moves from point A, the original equilibrium, to point B, the new equilibrium. And as it moves from A to B, the price increases and the quantity is unclear. And the quantity is unclear because we have two shifts. The shift in the supply will push the quantity down and the shift in the demand will push the quantity up. So which one will prevail, we don't know. The effect on quantity is unclear. Every time you have two events, two shifts happening at the same time, one effect will be unclear. The change in price or the change in quantity will be unclear. That was supply and demand in exercises. If you understood this topic, Good for you! Put a like if you didn't understand it. Too bad! Put a dislike! And thank you for watching this video and for learning supply and demand.